time now for baseball from the great state of Texas and Globe Life Field. It's the home opener of this new season between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Texas Rangers. Folks around here in high spirits. Matt Vaskersian with you on a day that's been circled on their calendars since about midwinter. Joined by Dan Plezak. And Dan, as we get things going this season, it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. Just like any team, pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but if they can pitch like they can, I think this team is going to be pretty successful. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. Dean Dunning gets the ball for the opener in front of these hometown fans. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Now with the plate is Paul Molitor. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Full count still. A very fine afternoon for baseball. 67 degrees here at first pitch. The next 3 2. Hit out towards second. There's Connor Falefa. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now, a moment as we take a look at the Jays starting nine for this one. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today, and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that could work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. Into the box, John Olderud reined in. And that's the second out. Next to hit, Matt Meyer. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ball in. Fellas, this Rangers ball club, as they begin play, it's official now. They will not go 162 and 0 as they were handed their first loss of the season last time out. Yeah, Matty, these players got in their cars today to drive to the stadium focused on one thing. Not who was going to be the hero, just the fact that they needed a W and that one of their teammates, whether it's them or someone else, has to come up with a big knock. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Next will be the designated hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up three bases. He set the 2 2. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. One left for Toronto. Now the Rangers will get their first crack scoreless. So now up steps Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One one. 
at the ball. And Dan DeRoe, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, Maddie, I know they dropped the first three games of this road trip, but you got to find a way to shower it off. I always said that when I left the field after I took that shower after the game, it's got to it's got to go down the drain. That game has got to go away. They find themselves in a new series right now with a chance to redeem themselves. Batting second. A moment the now in Arlington hitter. to have a look at the My Rangers goal. starting lineup. Mark DeRosa, yeah. what's the key to them starting out 1 and 0 here at home? Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard. But that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. The count now at two and one. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Batting third, the shortstop, Nate Walker. Throw over to first. Young, the base runner at first with one out. At the plate now, Nate Walker. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. No, he stays. And this that was set up good. perfectly for him the to pepper. start the double play. He's in ideal position. Good. And then I think he got a little bit ahead of himself. You know that old saying, be quick but don't hurry? Well, I think that was demonstrated right here. In now, Fudge Rodriguez. Ball. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The two one. Strike two, swing Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. He's going to be pretty that's upset good. with himself about the that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch, but that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Next, it'll be Adolis Garcia, and a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Now the 2-2. And it's fouled away. Bases are loaded here. One man out. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with Batting two hit. away now. The first and with strike hit. three recorded there, he's notched his Whoa. first career major league strikeout. Well, Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch 
that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. At the plate, Nate Lowe, a two and one count to the Rangers' first baseman. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. Fastball when it gets by him, a swinging strike. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. He's set. The 2-2. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Now on 3-2 and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Two out, bases loaded. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And no shot for Green. This is a fair ball heading for the corner. Two runs score. It's cut off. So all three runners are in to score. Not the way you want to start the game as a pitcher. He dug his own grave a little bit, loading the bases there, and he had no chance but to throw a strike. Well, that's what you get when you start to groove one over the plate. It's a bases clearing double, and now he's down 3 nothing. Standing in now, David Dahl fouled off. Stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Fouled away. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat-footed for much longer. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw cleanly oh. into first, and that ends the inning. So three runs on only two hits in the inning, one error in the inning, and one man left on. On now to the top half of inning number two. It's the Rangers three, the Jays nothing. Second inning set to go, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Sean Green. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. Gone to lead off the inning. So Sean Green with the solo home run. First home run of the campaign for him, and the Blue Jays are on the board. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Yeah, everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mound, knew it was just a matter of time until this guy cranked one out of here. Well, that's the first one of the year, and many more are sure to follow. Stepping in now, Marcus Semyon. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So here's how the Rangers are positioned defensively. And let's take a look at outfielder David Dahl. Another guy who profiles not only in center field but can cover both corners. Speed is his game and he's only going to continue to get better. 
to the plate now to Oscar Hernandez. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location. But he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Into the box now, George Springer. Oh, that two cool. and one. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. The 2-1. second but this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning Jays get one back on the solo home run onto the bottom of inning number two it's the Rangers three and the Blue Jays one here's Brock Holt now he's set to lead off the home half of the second One one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Brock Holt now with a full count. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. And he fouls this one off. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Now a changeup hit on the ground to shortstop. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Batting done. All right, field. guys, here's the defensive Joey. alignment for the Toronto Blue Jays today. Yellow. And the spotlight today is going to be on Teoscar Hernandez, left fielder. This guy is a great athlete, gets really good jumps on the ball, but people, his calling card's in the batter's box. He can go deep in a hurry. At the plate now, Joey Gallo. Nope. Down low, two balls and a strike. One out, nobody on. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Giving chase is Hernandez. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Had a long way to go to make that running catch. And here it is again with the show track numbers. Took a great angle at it. Showed nice closing speed. And ended up running close to 110 feet to finally bring it in. No doubt in efforts his teammates are appreciative of. In now, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Rangers set down in order, and it's still three to one. Leading off the end.
inning, it'll be Bo Bichette as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. 1 1. There's a slider that misses below the zone. And he goes the other way, but he got a lot of it deep down the line. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And the Jays are in business now. It's a leadoff double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. At the plate, Paul Molitor line towards center field. Gallo is right there, one down. The first baseman, number nine, John Olerud. The batter will be John Olerud. Bichette leads off second with one gun in the inning. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Three, two. Hit out towards second. And there's out number two. Next here is Matt Meyer, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Third inning here. Three to one, our score. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. This one's flared down the right field line. And that's going to fall for a base hit. A cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Hey, you tip your hat to the batter for finding a way to find some green grass out there, but man, that has to frustrate you, Dan. An executed pitch right there. It, it does. Anytime you make a good pitch, and off the bat, it certainly did look like it was going to fall in for a base hit. You make a good pitch, but you don't necessarily always get the kind of results you want as a pitcher. Standing in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Pitch inside the throw. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. The payoff pitch. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the high. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So a two run shot to left center. First home run of the campaign for him as they take the lead four to three. No doubt an impressive home run, so we'll employ show track for a more in-depth look. 112 miles an hour was the exit velocity off the bat, so it's no wonder why it ended up having the impressive distance that it did. Into the box, Sean Green. Base hit into right center. That was pretty obvious in live action that that ball was hit hard. And after analyzing it with our show track technology, we see that our eyes did not deceive us. 114 miles an hour was the exit velo. An impressive swing of the bat. So now to the plate, Marcus Simeon, a pitch out, the throw, and they'll nail him at second on a brilliant call to pitch out, and the inning is over. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. We'll return to Texas in just a moment. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. 
Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Bottom of the inning now, and here comes the clutch hitting Michael Young. Young waiting on the 1 1. Now a flare out toward right center, and there's the first out here in the Texas third. Now batting, the shortstop, Nate Walker. So next to the plate for Texas, Nate Walker, who came around to score last time after reaching on an error. The 1 1 home. Hit on the ground out to short. And there are two away now. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So two are gone here in the Rangers third and set to stand in perhaps the premier backstop of the last 20 years the veteran Pudge Rodriguez. One and two to the Rangers catcher. Hey he's done an amazing job of settling down two innings ago I thought they were going to run him out of here but now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two right side. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. One two three go the Rangers. Score holds at four three. Start of the fourth upcoming but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. We looked into the numbers, and as a team, they've had a contact rate of over 85% in this game, meaning that when they swing the bat, they're missing the ball less than 15% of the time. To put that into context, the very best teams in baseball usually are right around 80% for an entire season. So at least for today, they're just playing an amazing ability to put wood to ball. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. Here's another 2-2. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Wow that's the case right there where a pitcher yeah, knows man. this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone and he still swung at it. Stepping in now to Oscar Hernandez. Sinker misses that time and it's two and one. Hey. Called strike that time and it's even at two and two. Four runs, five hits, one error thus far for Toronto. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes oh. the throw to first. Hernandez is retired, two down now. Here's George Springer trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. 1-1. One, one. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations, or to get that jam job with no one on base, that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. Waved out and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So a pitching clinic there as he sets him down in order, all via the punch out. More for Marlington after this.
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Adolis Garcia. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Now back. Called the ball. First what does he do? Here. He comes back Great. with a better pitch and Whoa. gets the punch out. Into the box now. Nate Lowe. Back Up high. Me. Two and one now. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Runs coming fast and furious here. 4-3 our score as we play the fourth. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. Ready with the 2 2 pitch. Full count. Three and two. Check the swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. The batter, the left fielder. He almost got him to commit there as we no. take another look at it in slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane, but he was able to hold back. Strong wrist, and he gets a trip to first because of it. In now, David Dahl. Two and one to nope. David Dahl. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Now the 2-1. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2-2 two and two now. And they're working the outer two. half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Low stands at first with one out. And he misses nope. with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. 16. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. So stepping in is Brock Holt. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Hot shot to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by on the base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. A hey, nice effort by the third baseman right there to slide and try and knock Not that bad. down. That ball was hit Look, too good in the perfect Yo, spot. Yo, at the plate, Joey Gallo. And this is down at the knees, but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Three runs, three hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Grounded back up the middle. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. We'll return to Texas in just a moment. Ready to 
go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Bo Bichette. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Pitch there catches the outside corner for strike two. And this will miss down Ball low down. in the dirt, three so two. he's working full now at three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. A ball that's carrying. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. That was a great job of driving that ball. Extending his arms very well. Was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Blake now, Paul Molitor, and he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Count still at one and two. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. One two yep, offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. I mean, you want to talk about doing your job and getting paid for it. There it is right there. Unselfish A.B. trying to work his guy from second to third. And, oh, what do you know? Not for yourself. Into the box, John Oldenburg. And it's one and two. With two strikes now to runner at first. Do you go for the strikeout? Are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to deuce the ground ball to get a double play. One, two. At the ball. Runners are at first and third with none out. Now a throw over, and he'll be back in standing up. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And they'll tack on an insurance strike with the sack fly as they lead now five to three. Great job there by this power hitter, known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Ranger Skipper is up off his seat in the dugout now to make the walk of the mound, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working Your just four and a third, please. and he just didn't now have his best stuff in this one. Kyle Cody enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Matt Meyer will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Two, two here it is hard liner but picked up on a hop to second for one on the first and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen one batter two outs and the inning is over a run on two hits here for Toronto last half of the fifth coming up it's the Blue Jays five and the Rangers three.
Taylor Chatwood will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and into bat next will be Isaiah Kiner Falefa. One and two here it comes. Inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes. On a good change up a swing and a miss and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. The plate now is the designated hitter. Michael Young. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. Legs churning, he's headed for second. Young can move, he's around second on his way to third. And Young is going to get in there at third with a triple. And that's his first Double triple of the season. Three. The way he exploded out of the box, hey. you knew he was determined to get the third, and he made it happen. So now to the plate, Nate Walker. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. I'm sure the manager is fine now with that. that. He tried the to catcher. entice him with that 3 2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. Run, First base dead. was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Runners on the corners now with one man gone, and that means Pudge Rodriguez will dig into bat at the plate. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Now a move over to first, and they'll get back in standing. Will be a tough turn, however, and indeed he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. A simple ground ball to the infield, but the run does come home from third, and they cut their deficit to only one run. Striding in is Adolis Garcia, trying here to plate the tying run from second. The 1-1. One, one. That's a strike to throw down. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. That's not easy to do. To steal third off a catcher that has an elite arm like this, great base running there. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Hit in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. One and two. Here it is. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. So a full count now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Walker on third with two out. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Rangers will have to be content with just the one. Five innings complete. The Jays lead it five to four. So here's the cleanup hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning.
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, that's big out. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. The 2 1 home. Takes a pass and misses that strike two. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as a left hander starts to get cranking down there. The 2 2. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Here's the 3 2. Grounded to short. That's through, and he's now 2 for 3 in this one. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear him. Sean Green will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. we we'll flash you back to take another look at a solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is the right fielder still ranging back. Gone! So it's a two run shot to right center, his second of the game, and it's now seven to four. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Stepping in now, Marcus Simeon. Popped him up. Kiner Falefa over to his left, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next to the Blue Jays, the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. The 3 1. Is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your ace swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Left side of the infield into the shift. There's Connor Falefa on the first and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second. George Springer the next to hit. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed and that's strike two. One and two. drive base hit so good work on a one and two count to get on base just an absolute laser that time screaming off the bat if you will and the show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour those are the line drives you can hear as they go by standing in now Bo Bichette Two and two. Throw over to the bag. A dive, but he's back. The two two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Blue Jays seven and the Rangers four.
bottom of the sixth inning now. And now here's Nate Lowe. The 2 1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Brown first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. And this is just a cut fastball. He's okay. trying to sneak in the back Let's door. Hit. He's unable to get it done. It's a right Go. over the heart of the plate. And that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. At the plate, David Dahl well hit the other way again. It's into the gap. He's in at second safely as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball number game. Baseman, number 16. Back-to-back -back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit. Lacing a double of his own could be a big inning if this continues. Into the box now, Brock Holt. Outside, no that's offer ball. on that one. Two balls and a strike. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. The 2 1. Grounded to first. And he'll take oh. this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. Good hits right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. Into the box, Joey Gallo. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. He's not having his best outing in this one, and I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one, and that's not the first time that's happened. Now the 2-1. A runner moving from third as that speared on the mound. And he's out at the plate as they cut him down trying to score. He's trying his hardest to help his guys get back in the game, but this time he had no shot. Applaud the hustle, but the decision was a costly one. To the plate now, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. High and deep to right center. Green ranges back. But he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Man, an unlucky break right there with the runner stealing from first. If that ball doesn't bounce over the wall for a ground rule double, he's probably going to score easily. But instead, he's forced to stay at third. Now it's going to be up to the next guy to drive him home. So now to the plate. Michael Young tried to hold up there. Appeal down at first and no swing. It's ball two. The set and the two and one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Simeon is there to make the catch and the side is retired. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Top of the order due up to start the seventh. It's now seven to five. Number 47 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 47. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Paul Molitor. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Down the first baseline. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. John Next to bat for Toronto, John Olderud. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. Now the 2 1. 
lifted the other way to left center. Giving chase is Dahl. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up next, Matt Meyer. The 2-1 home. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Garcia gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They're still up seven to five. Jacob Barnes will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 40, Jacob Barnes. Last half of the seventh here, and next will be the first year shortstop, Nate Walker. All down low, two balls and a strike. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Yeah. A high fastball is in there. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can okay. to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That's now what you call a clutch Hector. piece of hitting. Down two home. runs. He puts himself in scoring run. position yeah. and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. In now, Fudge Rodriguez. Oh. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. All even at two and two. Here it is. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. He makes the play. Runner tags and hits for third. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move up from second to third. So now here is Adolis Garcia. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. So a two-run shot to left center. Second home run early in the year. And that'll pull him into a tie at 7-7. Time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Standing in now, Nate Lowe. He ah. takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. That was a big strike out there, guys. Now the it. best pitchers have the ability to strike Thank guys you. out when they really no. need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. At the plate, David Dahl. Good riding action to that thing, and it's balled in two strikes. Now some definite signs of life in that Toronto bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander begin to throw.
Heading out towards shallow right. And Green will settle under this one, and the side is retired. But two here in the Rangers' half of the inning, and they come on this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth, and we're deadlocked here at 7-7. Brett Martin has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do range. so to start the eighth. Number 59, Brett Martin. Ready to begin the eighth, and standing in is the DH, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The 1-1. One, one. Misses oh. for the second ball. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Ball three. Comes back with a fastball low, and that moves it to three and one now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The 3 2 pitch. And he lays Excellent. off. Ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks like than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Sean Green coming to the plate again as we look back at his two home runs in the game so far. The most recent back in the sixth inning. Shot at two as he saved easily at first. Took a pretty well, long time for the game. shortstop that to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. Stepping in now, Marcus Semyon. And a sinker right. dips Again. too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right-hander's begun to warm up out there. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and he is safe on a very close play at the bag. You know the defense wants that play back. They had him totally picked off when he took off early, but they just couldn't finish him off. We'll see if that comes back to bite him here. But this one's not going to stay fair. Ready with the two and two. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Back up the middle, and that will get through into center field for a base hit. And the go-ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Boy, those have to feel really good, Dero. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. In there, now the throw. In time, tough to run on Pudge as he nails him at second base. 
Well, they've got a small lead, and they're pushing to add to it by being aggressive on the base pass. But as a manager, you just hope you're not giving up outs that you wish you could have had back. Here comes the one-two. Misses, ball two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. He loses him on ball four. So next to hit is George Springer. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's one for two. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hernandez is off of first with two away. Three balls and two strikes to the Blue Jays center fielder. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the bottom nine. half of the eighth. Number 39, Kirby Hayes. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Brock Holt. One hit in the air down the right field line, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two starting to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. People no, always talk field. about how Number important 13. getting the leadoff men on base no. is, and, and it's true. So yeah, in the eighth uh, inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Into the box now, Joey Gallo, and it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Dribbled down the third baseline. Ready with the one and two. And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. No problems for him on the mound since no he's come out of the pen to start this inning. Second That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Blake now. Isaiah Crater Falefa. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Rangers set down in order. And this one remains tight. It's eight to seven. Ian Kennedy enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ian Kennedy. Set for the start of the inning. And in the bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. A 1 1. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball.
ball and two strikes. Here it is. No. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. We got three balls and two strikes. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. Three, two, one more time. High in the air down the right field line. Garcia is there, one away. The batter, the third baseman, Paul Molitor. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Paul Molitor. He bounced out last time up. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a swing. Oh, and look out over in the third base dugout as that thing nearly took out half the coaching staff. Well, you know, he didn't get cheated right there. He swung so hard, he lost the bat. Gotta believe he's gonna get some jabs and take some heat when he gets back to the dugout. Here comes the 1 2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Not a lot of guys pull that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. So now to the plate, John Olderwood. Hey. And, oh, he thought he'd work the walk, but it's a called strike two now. I'm sure every pitcher on the staff could use an extra run right here. I know the bases are empty and there's two outs, but stay on the... But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Blue Jays go down in order, and this remains a close one. It's eight to seven. Tom Hickey enters the game to finish this one, off, four here four one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 50. Tom. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And digging in is the veteran DH, Michael Young. The 3 1. Fires right. the zone to fill the count 3 and 2. High and deep to left center field. Looking up is Hernandez. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So a solo shot here to left center field. And just like that, this ball game is all tied. an impressive power display today with that one these two teams have now hit a combined five homers in this game yeah Matt you know what deal what we got up this morning for this day game here we were expecting a high scoring game but boy we haven't been disappointed yeah you take the temperature of a lot of guys in the league they definitely will tell you they see the ball better at, in the daytime than they do at night case in point today ball was jumping off the bats of both lineups and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one now batting, catcher, Eva Rodriguez. Now at the plate, here is Fudge Rodriguez. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Going back is the left fielder. And the track to the wall. Gone! Santa Maria, game Solo shot here to left center field. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over.
Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. one nine to eight at the end of the game in this one the Rangers came through and it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win Ian Kennedy claims the win out of the pen his first so that'll do it for us for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the new website the show.com Score for our ball game this afternoon. First for the victorious Rangers, nine runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Blue Jays, eight runs on 11 hits, one error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 55 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon at Globe Life Park. 48,114. The Rangers thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely.